everyone, it's Melinda. I am so excited for this one. <laughs> I absolutely love Vesuvianite. It is one of my very favorites. Um, yeah, we are so lucky here in Canada to have like really impressive uh, specimens of Vesuvianite. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to start showing you this piece first. It's a little bit rougher, but it does have beautiful little crystals in there and does show the typical green and purple coloring uh, that we're known for in Canada. That's stunning. I love this little crystal right here. <laughs> so Vesuvianite is also known as Idocraze. Both are uh, perfectly acceptable, uh, you know, technical mineral names. Um, it can be green, brown, yellow, blue, or purple, and it is a silicate mineral. Uh, Vesuvianite occurs as tetragonal crystals in scarn deposits and limestones that have been subjected to contact metamorphism. I'm worried it's a little delicate, so I <laughs> slowly turn it over. Wow, look at underneath. Gorgeous! Oh, just love it. So Vesuvianite is named after Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Um, it's a famous volcano um, where this mineral was first discovered, uh, included in blocks or adjacent to lavas, um, again, on Mount Vesuvius. Uh, that's actually one of the things that first drew me to this mineral, its name. Uh, I learned about Mount Vesuvius when I was quite young and uh, have been <laughs> fascinated with it ever since. Uh, Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, and this fully covered uh, the local towns Pompeii and Herculaneum, and that actually perfectly preserved these cities. Uh, I've visited uh, Pompeii uh, and got to see it in person. It is absolutely amazing. It is literally you're walking through the streets of an ancient city that was perfectly preserved. Um, you can see you know, perfectly preserved rooms, pottery, um, mosaics, uh, and sadly even, you know, some of the deceased. Uh, it's really, really wild and it was, you know, something that's always fascinated me, something that I got to experience and was very moved by. Uh, so when I first saw this mineral of Vesuvianite, I just, you know, fell in love and then, you know, seeing these beautiful contrasting bright green and purple colors in this gloriously sparkly crystal. Um, yeah, I just, how can I not love it? <laughs> so my later specimen is even more impressive. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, I love it. I just, just love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the name Idocraze is an older a word that's not commonly used anymore, um, but you'll readily see this in kind of like older collection uh, labels and classical reference guides. Um, it was popularly used, but isn't very much anymore. Tend to see Vesuvianite more so now. Oh, this piece just kills me. I absolutely love it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, so though, although many habits of Vesuvianite are dull or uninteresting, there are some highly lustrous and brilliantly colored forms of this mineral that are absolutely outstanding, and I hold one in my hand right now. Um, of special note uh, are the vivid colored and multicolored varieties that come from uh, the Jeffrey Quarry in Asbestos, Quebec, here in Canada. Um, they're actually famous worldwide for having the most, you know, stunning combination of colors of this mineral. And I absolutely love my specimen. It's a little bit hard to come by really nice, solid crystal specimens like this uh, nowadays. I purchased mine uh, from an older collector, so I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> I just love this piece. It is one of my very favorite specimens in my whole collection. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Isn't that something? Oh, 
just gorgeous. All right, and there's Vesuvianite, sometimes referred to as Idocraze. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, you learned a little something. Um, yeah, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. See you next time.